Welcome back New Zealand and Australia, please subscribe my channel for daily weather update, thanks, a low is expected to develop in a trough east of the North Island on Tuesday and slowly move south over the next few days. This low could bring heavy rain to eastern areas of New Zealand, but there is a high degree of uncertainty regarding its position and movement, there is low confidence that a rainfall warning will be needed for Tarawiti at Gisborne, Hawke's Bay and Wairarapa on Tuesday and for eastern Marlborough and North Canterbury on Wednesday. For Tarawiti at Gisborne and Northern Hawke's Bay in particular, there may be further impacts regardless of whether a warning is issued due to the extremely wet conditions that have been experienced there recently. On Thursday, a strong southwest flow should move on to New Zealand. There is low confidence that winds will reach severe gale force about Northland and Auckland on Friday. On Friday, an approaching front may bring heavy rain for Fjordland and some snow is possible about the higher roads of Southland and Otago at night. At this stage, it appears unlikely that warnings will be needed on Friday for the rain and snow. For Australia, a mature low-pressure system sits in the bite with several bands of active, cloud spiralling out from the low, some of which are impacting parts of Tasmania. A trough extends from it into eastern South Australia and western Victoria, which has a thick band of cloud associated with it. A cold front has developed on the northwestern flank of the low with a significant surge of polar air to the southwest of it. The scent of moist air over the ranges is producing low cloud about southern New South Wales, while onshore flow is producing low cloud about parts of southern Western Australia, South Australia, and Queensland. Streaks of high level cloud are visible through the Northern Territory, Queensland, and parts of Western Australia.